ready to come over your house. I'm gonna go to the club, okay? <laughs> it's upsetting me and my homegirls that you want me to just cancel. Like, I look too good, sir. Good morning. It is Friday and it's 1.58. That's my jam. This is when my day gets started. So I am waiting for the vlog for today to go up. I don't know why it's taking like it's been tw it's been uploading for 12 hours. I don't know. I like I have this strange feeling that it's going to hit me with uh upload not successful and I'm going to have to re-upload it and wait another hour, another few hours. Like I don't know what's going on, but I just made me a breakfast pizza. It look good. Ooh. And guess what? Ow, 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 ow. The fuck? Guess what? I can smell. <laughs> I'm happy. I got this breakfast pizza from Walmart. It look good too. It's all. It's all like. Fluffy and professional looking like okay, but today on the agenda, we are going to dinner with one of the homies. The um, I want to say vlog episode three, that guy that I went out to dinner with, um, we're going to dinner. And he taking me to this new spot called Creole. It it might happen, it might not. It just depends on how you feeling when you get off work. But yeah, um, it's supposed to be really good. And I'm so glad that I can smell and I can taste and I can ah, ah, ah. Because, you know, I'm a foodie. Y'all might not know this, but I'm a foodie. Like, I don't play about my food, baby. Not being able to taste and smell. I mean, I would have rather had body aches and been bedridden for the, for the two weeks and still been able to eat my food. Like, the lighting is so terrible. So, okay, you guys. Hey, so we are getting ready to go to dinner. Um, it's this place called Creo. My homeboy put me on. Um, I'm good and hungry too. And I just got on this one piece jumpsuit with the Alexander McQueens that I showed you in my last video. Um, I've worn this jumpsuit before. I wore it in Miami. I don't want it. I don't want it a couple of times because I mean, why not? Instagram has seen it, but not like on a on like my page. So you can't like find it on my page. You will have to go through my highlights to see that I've already worn it. But every time I wear it, I wear it in a different way. Okay, so recycle your clothes, girl. Who said you had to wear it one time? Nobody but you. And the fragrance of the day is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. So I'm going to smell a little OG with Ombre, you know? Yeah, I rolled an actual blunt last night. Blew my mind I ain't rolled one in like two, three years. Because I, I really only smoke cones. <clears throat> Child, I impressed myself a little bit. I'm like, shit, you a real gangster. <laughs> you a thug. You know, since I got my little taste buds back or whatever, I can smell again, I can taste again. Shit, let's go out to eat. Let's go get some real food. This bag just will not close. But yeah, this the fit. I feel cute. I feel cute. I might go I might go out and do something after this. I need a new mask though. Okay, this is cool. Okay, this is cool. This 
is a good one. I need a good clean mask cause I got a, I got a fresh new bump. I want to spray on some more perfume. Like I don't feel like I'm loud enough. Do, do y'all ever have those moments where you just feel like you're not loud enough? I don't feel like I'm loud enough. Let me take my blunt with me because I actually might do some tonight. Oh, girl, what's your number? You got a boyfriend. Because I'm just saying, you need one if you ain't got one. Yeah. My nigga, send me the address because I just typed in Creole and ain't nothing pop up. Creole, Creole Georgia popped up. Trying to take me no. to, trying to take me to Georgia. Did you try to go? I mean, I they, you. I mean, I mean, they just turned blue. You know what I'm saying? They, Demo yeah. they Democrats. We could go out there and see wall. Yeah, we we'll do that. We we'll do that. <laughs> but it's not Creole, like Creole. It's it's K R I O. K R I O. Okay. Hold on. Let me type it in. Okay, on seven, West 7th Street. Yeah. Okay, I'm 11 minutes away. I'll see you there. Bye-bye. All right, bye. I'm in this garage, right? And this shit kind of spooky. It's kind of spooky. I feel like I'm in a scary movie. I'm scared. It's <laughs> some scary shit. <laughs> Bitch, how the hell you get to the damn staircase? Oh, I don't like this. What the fuck? I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Why we gotta take a staircase? Why we can't take an elevator? really spooky. Oh baby, you gonna have to walk me back to my car. And I ain't even no scree bitch. Bitch. I don't like this shit. How do you get to the damn restaurant? Establishment is this. Okay, you get what the what the fuck? This is so ghetto. This is very ghetto. is the restaurant in? I mean... So that's going down. Oh no, I'm gonna go to no basement. Hi, can you possibly tell me where Creo is? Do you know? I'm not from this area. Oh. I can smell and taste, I'm so excited. Nice. 
this ain't no relationship, none of that. I kind of, I might like a motherfucker, but uh, it ain't no. I don't know what a relationship is. Right now, at least. By the way, when y'all see this, my birthday, it's my birthday month. It's gonna be over. Yeah, go go um follow him. I'm gonna put his Instagram right there. Go follow him and say happy birthday. You tell him hey, he sent you. I didn't even see your drink menu. Do you have sweet tea? We only have like raspberry cream. It's unsweet. What? It's like raspberry, but it's unsweet. I can have like fun and stuff, but we only have the regular raspberry, no regular. Bro, this is south. I, I think it's just this place. No. Yeah. This is a little bit. It's not, not south. No, Texas is just it's period. Like don't just. I think, that, I think people in Texas know something about sugar that I don't. Because every Texas restaurant don't have sweet tea. And this is the south. <laughs> okay. Let's do a spot. <laughs> Tell me more about this girl. They got you blushing. Oh, no, we just. Uh, like the vibe was cool. Like the vibe was cool. He a Scorpio, by the way. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. nothing. The vibe was cool. Uh, we have been kicking it. Uh, How long y'all been kicking it? A year and a half. Oh yeah, y'all. You got a whole girlfriend, bro. Talking about y'all talking. <laughs> I'm still with me. Oh my god, I'm 11 years older than you. You was a senior when I was a junior when I was in like kindergarten. Yeah. Don't make me get sad. <laughs> my soulmate might be in kindergarten right now. So you be walking outside your balcony naked, but you ain't, but you ain't smash nobody on the balcony yet. I play with you. Yes, I have. You have? <laughs> Do it again. Oh Lord. No funny, we can't get caught. Listen, I'm not. That wasn't no judgmental question. That was a. Oh, you ain't did that yet, kind of question. Hey, you know I'm a Pisces. You know I'm a freak. You know how we rock it. Hey, Charles. I am Pay Charles. All of that. Yep. Subscribe, like. Hit the subscribe button. All of that. All of that. You know what I'm saying? She gonna put my. She gonna put my Instagram somewhere in the video. Mhm. Mm See, I come follow me, like my pictures. Did you notice a lot of followers last time I uh put a video put the video up? You probably didn't even watch it. I've been bullshitting. No, it's okay. Trust me. Bullshit. I don't expect men to watch my videos. When when a man comments and say he subscribed and watch my videos, I be feeling weird. Yeah, he might be. No, it ain't nothing uh, nothing against him. It's just I I be when I talk to my when I talk to my viewers, I always say girl. I don't even think dudes be watching my videos. You got to tap in. Or you got to make yourself more marketable. You got to tap into to both joints. You right. You right. Well, all right then. He don't want to go have a drink with me. He finna go to a kickback. So. I'm gonna see you tomorrow, probably. Yeah, okay. You gonna leave her? Yeah, you gonna see me tomorrow. See how she do. 
We're gonna link up. Nah, I'm serious. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna link up. Good day. All right. Good day. Bye. All right, girl. You got to fuck with the baddest. You know that I can't be kept. No, I got a dab out. in my hood, best dress. my new pan on a leash. On a leash. Baby, my old nigga, you was just Ooh, a piece of white. I'm down to the leave. Took out a play up the guy that should prelay. See, like my pipe, I be laying it down. Walk in the kitchen and way up the pound. Your face in the book, cause it helped me for you. I said, went up the church and they shot all the country. But one thing they can't say is I ain't got money. Huh? See, look, I'm proud of my toe. Quick on shit, I'm the head. with me and this is what i'm wearing it's just a little outfit from she in it's super comfy and cozy kind of look like some granny panties in my versace two chain reaction shoes so i'm gonna throw on a crop denim jacket with this and yeah let's go make sure to grab my phone because i always forget it Yo, we got a black female vice president my bitch is stupid never let a fuck without a rubber Coming to her apartment to get my lashes done. I don't know if I like this. Cause, you, Cause you're a stranger, and I don't know you like that. I thought I was going to a, a business. Reservations. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this. <clears throat> Let me DM her. So, ma'am is not answering and responding to my DMs. She ain't coming outside. I don't really feel comfortable being in somebody's apartment anyway. So I'm just gonna leave. She was doing them for free anyway, so I tried to help promote girl and get you some clients, honey, but you know this ain't the move, sis. This is not the move. So anyways, we about to go get these toes done. I wasted gas. But that's alright. That's alright. It's alright. I'm blessed and highly favored to be alive this morning, to be awake this morning, to be healthy this morning, to be able to smell this morning, okay? <laughs> you know, so I'm all right. I'm okay. What you drinking? What's good? The guy you I wish I nigga would. Consider yourself blessed. You got to fuck with the baddest. You know that I can't be kept. No, I got to dip out. I love me some Janae Aiko, baby. I love her. And then just, it just put the cherry on top this year, Pisces. Because it's like, you know, when she makes songs, she makes them for me. I literally be in her brain and she wrote all, every song she has ever wrote, she wrote it for me. 
It's like me and her be going through the same shit at the same time. Cause I be like, girl, I have to watch. Wait a minute, it's a it's it's green light. It's a green light. The fuck are you doing? If I wasn't paying attention, that would have been your opportunity to get some money out of me, cause I would have re-ended you. Fuck is you doing? Got to be on the phone. Got to be. Got to be. You have got to have some sort of distraction. I got a whole camera in my hand and I'm still pay paying attention to the road. This ain't the way I'm supposed to be going, too. French pedicure, okay. So this is the look tonight. Giving body. Giving face. Oh, this lash is on a gangster lane. Barbie doll. I look like a Barbie. Hi, Barbie. So what are we gonna put on tonight? We are going to excuse my bathroom. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. You know, I be having all kind of exotic nights when I wear this, honey. So we're gonna put on Bakura tonight again, okay? So I overspray because great things happen when you overspray. And I'm gonna put the Oh, this shit smell good. Yeah, I got my smell back, bitch. And I'm gonna put the um, oil on my legs. <sighs> and a little bit right there in between, you know, tomorrow, you know. Barbie. I'm over that Barbie light. All right, 
right. This the look. Wait a minute. Hey, Shane. Hi, babe. Say hi to the people. Shay said I'm giving her, what was her name on Scarface? I'm trying to think of it. Oh, you know, I'm gonna look she it said I'm giving her uh, Michelle Pfeiffer Scarface. It's Michelle Pfeiffer. It is. It's Michelle Pfeiffer. Scarface. Um, but what was her name though? I don't know. I just remember her coming down this elevator in that green and, and dress. And she had those blonde bangs. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're doing right now. You were giving me the Scarface Bay. Scarface Bay. Oh, this is a blinking red light. Ooh. So, no, you know. No, we just keep trying. Girl. Yeah. So, we're going to do a little club hopping tonight. We're going to go to Sidebar. And then, if that's an, if that's we can do it wick, then we're going to go to SNS. SNS. S and S always a vibe. I always That's have a good time spot. when I go there. That's no, it's not. No, it's not. I promise you, it's not. I generally don't go out uh, alone on the weekends, <laughs> weeknights by myself. Oh, my I only weekend. do day parties. <laughs> 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 I only do day parties by oh, myself. My weekend. Okay, but <laughs> so okay, so definitely we gonna see. And that's gonna be that, you know. It's Saturday. I'm turn. You know what I want to listen to? What? Wow. Okay. Get a bucket and a mop. Okay. Let's put on. We'll put on a little wop. Let's Hold on. Just sick. Hold it. Okay. We're gonna put on a little wop. Give you everything you got. Hey Siri. <laughs> Play wop by Cardi B. Playing Walk featuring Megan Thee Stallion by Cardi B. <laughs> wow. pretty outside and I look good so this is what we're wearing so okay <clears throat> I got on these cute little blue shoes the scent for tonight is Tom Ford ombre leather it's one of my new scents and I can't stop wearing it it's either that or Baccarat lately um this dress is from fashion nova i got it from the sale section i got it on sale so unfortunately they don't have it no more i got this dress for like nine dollars it was too cute and i've had it for like two years and i'm just deciding to wear it so and then of course you know i just reviewed this bag super super cute so um um definitely check out that video if you're interested in this cute little black bag that goes with literally everything let me give y'all some of the body, because I know y'all want some of this body, yaddy, yaddy. It's a bad bitch birthday, period. Ah, we about to go get dressed. Oh, you're so long. Just saying I'm done playing. Last time I was on the outro. 
Hoes stuck in the house need to get out more I've been stacking up like I'm fundraising Most people in my position get complacent Come places with star girls End up on the front pages I'm quiet with it, I just ride with it the moment I stop having fun with it I'll be done with it I'm the only one that's putting shots up And like a potluck, you need to come with it Don't run from it Ace town in the summertime, I keep it 100 A lot of girls in my times there Word of Paul Wall, not one fronting Birthday in my first year, man I know that place like I come from it Backstage at warehouse and oh nine like a spun coming. Dad, is anyone coming? Before I show up there and there's no one there. These days I could probably pack it for like 20 nights if I go in there. Back rough on my main thing, I've been stressed out. Talking to her like back then, they didn't want me, I'm blessed out. Talking to her like this drop and a million copies get pressed out. She tell me take a deep breath, you're too worried about being the best. Best. Tuesday morning and guess what girl it's 9 36 in the morning she's up early this morning I know when you know 1 p.m. but um so you know I went out Sunday and it was a couple bad decisions being made so baby I'm about to sage this house and sage my bed okay <laughs> because <laughs> I mean, I just went all against the tarot card read. Okay. Clean this house. Renew my peace. Cleanse this house. Renew my peace. Ooh, child, cleanse this house, cleanse this bed, honey, cleanse these souls, honey, cleanse my peace, renew my peace, renew my strength, renew my energy, child. Ooh, hold on, we gotta do the bathroom too. Cleanse this house, cleanse this house. Cleanse this house. Cleanse this house. Cleanse this house. Renew my peace. Cleanse this house. Ooh. Cleanse this house. And I'm going to go ahead and do my morning prayer right now. After cleansing everything and just... And then I'm going to make a smoothie because I have lost four pounds. Wasn't trying to do that. Got on a scale this morning. I'm 141. I'm upset about it. So, um, yeah, I'm about to make a protein smoothie with that's going to be like, it, it got to be about 1,500 calories because I'm going to add some honey and avocado just so it could be more fulfilling. Um... And that's going to be my breakfast. And I really haven't had much of an appetite. So I'm going to start back taking my epitamine so I can um, get my appetite back. But yeah, we're getting ready to pray. All of our candles have gone out. So I got some new candles. This one just had to have gone out yesterday. Um, so we're probably going to light two candles. I'm not going to pray on camera because y'all already seen how I pray. And girl, people are so evil. One girl said that I was doing voodoo. Then another girl said, 
If I had to block a couple of people from their vlog, I had to block a couple of people. I'm like, ma'am, like, how do you find evil in somebody praying? Y'all got to get it together now because Jesus is on his way back. Y'all better get y'all hearts and y'all souls together and stop being so mean in these comments, honey. Now, I, it ain't a lot of people that be mean in my comments, and I do appreciate that. But every now and then, child, I have to get on somebody. Like, listen, she is not the one or the two. I want to freak you. I want to freak you. I wanna freak you, 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 you. I wanna freak you, you, you. Every time I close my eyes, I wake up feeling so horny. I can't get you out of my mind. Cause sex to you be all I see. I would give anything just to make you understand me. I don't give a damn about nothing else. Freaking you is all I in the afternoon yes i have just woken up but i woke up early i just went back to sleep because i ain't had shit to do and i didn't feel like watching tv but we got a new box and charm box and yes she is very much broken out honey i fell asleep in my makeup friday night big big mistake big big but yeah we got a new box and charm box so let's open let's see what we get Ooh, child, I got to update y'all on so much because so much happened over the, over the weekend. Lord have mercy. So much happened over the weekend, girl. We probably don't have a new bay anymore. That's, that's one of them. That's one of them. <laughs> she's, a very, she's very much a Pisces when it comes to men, okay? I, I can't keep no nigga. Especially when they don't want to be kept. Okay, let's... Um, so we got some Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster from... 111 skin okay definitely gonna use this okay because i love me some hot hyaluronic acid then we got a moisture replenishing serum from farsali Privé. wait is this from old girl because her stuff break me out we'll give it a whirl okay then we got oh did i show that to y'all Then we got some Jekyll Black Liquid Corrector 2.0 in the color 1DO. This offers a light coverage and corrects under eye darkness. Baby, she don't got no under eye darkness, okay, period. Like, she fine. She just got a little bad skin, that's all. And this is what it looked like. Then we got Game Changer Half Kate. lip fondants i have to look at this and see what's in there it looked like some liquid like three different liquid lipsticks and they probably not my color um then we got give me brow from benefit okay and let's see how much all this stuff costs because that's what really matters okay so Girl, this 111 Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster is 135. Look at this. I'm not lying. This is $135. Chai. The box of charm box ain't but $29. $20, $25. And this is just a regular one. This ain't even a premium. Oh my God. 
but the Farsali Privé Quench Serum is 24. The Benefit Gimme Brow is 24. The Half Gate Half Girl, okay. The Half Caked Game Changer Lip Fondant Trio is 32. And the Jekyll Black Liquid Color Corrector is 15. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. It don't matter how much I like that 111 Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Boost. I'm never gonna rebuy it. Never. Never. I Baby, I just started spending money on perfume. Like, a lot of money on perfume. Like, let me stop lying. Baby, I gotta update y'all about this weekend and what's going on with New Base. So, I feel like the energy is changing. I told y'all in my last vlog that I can feel it. And I can. I just feel like the energy changing and I don't really want to do it no more. That's just how I feel. I don't want to do it no more. I feel like the energy changing and he's different and he's acting different. And <sighs> yeah. So that's that. I mean, it's more to it, but we'll get into it. We'll get into it throughout the vlog. We will get into it throughout the vlog. I think part of it, my homeboy said, part of it is because he saw me out with my other homeboy and it made him feel some type of way. I don't know. I mean, I told him that was just my friend. He has a female best friend. So, like, I don't really understand the deal with people getting jealous of people's friends. Like... It's not that big a fucking deal. But anyway, so whatever, y'all. So my senses are back. I can smell. I still have a little post nasal drip, though. And um, in the morning, like, I sneeze. My eyes watering. And my nose just be a little stuffy or whatever just because allergies. But it, everything's back to normal. Anyway, so last week, I introduced this new product into my skincare regimen. And I started seeing um, congestion come to uh, the surface of my skin. So, like, I could literally just look at my skin and see the, congest the congested pores. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is going to be bad. So, I didn't think that this one would be this bad. But this was actually one pimple. But it had, like, three clogged pores and, like, three different areas of pus that i had to pop so this that, that one was terrible child this one is coming to a head so it'll be ready to extract soon and then i extract like extracted like three other ones so i really think that it was because this vitamin c and turmeric clay mask kind of pulled a lot of stuff to the surface it's a really good mask though i'm going to continue to use it i understand that this is why i'm purging because um i didn't use it all over my face um I only used it on my jawline and my chin. So I do feel like it's because of this. But it's good. You know, I'm going to keep using it. It is what it is. You're going to purge a little bit when you use new products. So um, I'm fine with it. Um, I just don't want to keep breaking out. Because, like, this is this is, this was a pretty bad breakout right here. Like, I had, uh, I had like, a huge one right under here. Uh-uh, it wasn't cute, but I made it work for the people, okay? But I definitely want to get a facial. I think that's what's going to be most beneficial for me is to go ahead and get a facial, maybe a chemical peel, and get this shit together because I, I can't. I can't. But yeah, let's go ahead and get our day started. It's starting a little late, but let's go ahead and get our day started. Put some clothes on, take a shower, and go have us some fun. Because today is Veterans Day. I want to say happy Veterans Day to all of the veterans out there. Thank y'all for y'all service. Yes, yeah, she fought in two wars for this country. She did two deployments to Iraq, yes. So we're going to go out and celebrate. We're going to go have us some drinks, honey. We're going to go have us a good time. Hello. Are you here for four o'clock as well? 
Yeah. Again, you come over to one of these iPads, click on a white plus sign, enter in your email address, correct player profile. How y'all doing today? Good. 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 You ready to kill some zombies? Mm -hmm. You can also set that up however you want. You want to set it up somewhere if you want to carry it. Okay. Um, Alright, you're going to find the cure and protect it at all costs. We're going to send you out there, you're the last ones alive, and you got to save the world. No pressure. Any questions at all? Yeah, because you went super fast. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to die. Do you have any questions at all? No. Alright, and once you've got that situated and figured out the most comfortable you want it, you can flip it up like a welder's mask and you can move on to the headphones. You're gonna go to your left side, get those headphones, unclip that blue clip, make sure that cord goes over your shoulder, and the mic's gonna go on the left side and your volume's gonna be right behind that mic. Yeah, it's gonna, it's just like that. Your volume control is right behind that mic. You can bring it up to bring the volume up. And can everyone hear each other? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Alright, two elevators have opened. One has two waypoints and one has one. You can choose to go on your own and have a team of two. Alright, the doors have opened. We're going to head towards that elevator there. Uh, it looks like the power's not running though. I'm going to work on that. Um, but be on guard, looks like there's something near you. So the rescue helicopters have been called, but they refuse to land with those zombies there. Hey, you gotta pump that gun. So once you clear the zombies off of here, then we can get you out of here. Take anything off yet? I'm gonna come by and get your guns. Want that for your vlog? Yeah. Y'all did a good job, though. Oh, I appreciate great. it. <laughs> it's like, though I won. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope y'all enjoyed. Definitely and, uh, enjoyed. Thank you so fast. much. Whoo, child. Baby, that was a good time, okay? We running out of memory cards, so I'm about to go get me a drink. Have me a drink. Damn, I ain't locked my door. Terrible. Oh, I'm about to go have me a drink. It's glorious. Maybe a little margarita. And then, um, 
run some little errands. I got I need some garbage bags so bad. I need some garbage bags and I do need to go to the grocery store. Baby, that was a workout. I'm hot. So yesterday I went to Zero Latency, which is like a virtual reality game where you can play like different simulated games. I wanted to do the zombie one because I saw it on Instagram and I was like, oh, that looks fun. I want to go with somebody. But like, I only asked, I think, one or two people. And this is why I go out by myself, y'all, because I do not like asking people to go with me places and hear excuses. Like, I understand uh, people have their life. I understand, uh, you know, you got other stuff going on, but like, if I'm trying to plan something and you just, I just I just like going everywhere by myself. That's just me. I, and then when I do it by myself, people be like, oh my God, why you go by yourself? I would've went with you. I would've blah, 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 blah. And that's how it was when I went to when I went to Turkey to get my nose done, I did a whole Euro trip prior to even going to Turkey. I went to Paris. I went to the um, museum with the houses, the Mona Lisa. Um, had me a good time in Paris. Then I went to Istanbul to get my, my nose done. Stayed there for a week by myself. And I still like toured the city by myself with my nose all bandaged up. Then after that, I went to Amsterdam, no steel bandaged up, went to Van Gogh Museum. I'm pointing like it's right across the street. <laughs> um, went to Van Gogh Museum, I went to this nice ass restaurant. I had caviar for the first time. I went to a smoke shop. I think they call them candy shops there or coffee shops. Yeah, I went to a coffee shop. I was literally walking around the city smoking with my nose bandaged up. Wasn't supposed to be smoking no doggone weed, child, but I was like, hell, I'm in Amsterdam. What, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I'm in Amsterdam. So yeah, when I get back, I'm, I told people, they was like, oh my God, you went to Paris without me? You went to Amsterdam without me? Yes, bitch. I did. And I didn't tell you about it because I knew you weren't going to do nothing but give me a motherfucking excuse. That's why I do everything by myself. So from this point on, y'all know when I'm out doing shit, I'm mostly by myself. I'm always by myself. And I'm a Pisces, so it's not like something that is, you know, unheard of for me or any other Pisces. We are innately loners. We just like being by myself, being by ourselves. Now, generally, if my daughter was here, then I would do everything with her. I want to go to the Amsterdam with her until she 18. But, uh, yeah, I would be doing everything with her, but she not here. She live in Chicago with her father. So, I do everything by myself. So, I went to um that place yesterday and like when i was going in it was two it was a couple walking in so i end up being in the game with them baby they ain't have my back at all they let me die so much i was like first of all see this is why black people need to come together black because i had the most kills which means i was killing people that was after them because when you shooting at the zombies right it's zombies coming from all angles so you really gotta be on your shit you know what i'm saying like you gotta be Hey, 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 you know what I'm saying? And, you know, with that military experience or whatever, whatnot, whatnot, you know, um, I was, baby, you know, I could have been a police officer. I could have been 12. Because <laughs> I was, I was on their ass and I was killing the zombies that was coming behind them that they couldn't see. That's why I had the most motherfucking kills because I had their back. They didn't die as much as me because they didn't have my damn back. But it's all right. It's all right. That's life. So, um, update. Hmm. Update. New bay. It's probably not going to work. It's probably, yes. Yeah, it's not going to work. I'm falling back. I saw, uh, do y'all follow Respectfully Justin on Instagram? His Instagram is, hold on, I'm gonna give it to you. It's Justin LaBoy, J-U-S-T-I-N-L-A-B-O-Y. So, oh my God, he already got 1.3 million followers. Hmm. Gone, and he's, it's only a meme page. It's one, 
This meme page has 1.3 million followers and it's only a meme page. Like, that's all he posts is memes. This is crazy. Um, he got like celebrities following him and everything. So anyway, he says a lot. He posts a lot of things that people just can relate to. And that's why he has so many followers. But the other day he, he posted, once a Pisces starts Piscean, just leave. I swear, I'm Piscean right now. When I find myself liking someone, and I hate that I do this, but you know, my fish going their way, my fish going their way, shit. I, I don't know what the fishes be wanting to do. Be, so listen, <clears throat> when I start liking somebody, right, I find ways not to like them because I do not want to be hurt. That's, that's it. I just don't want to be hurt. Like, I hate liking people. I hate liking dudes. I really do. And I know we had this conversation in the last vlog, but it's a continuance because obviously New Bay ain't make it. It's a week later. Baby, that ain't even been a month. I just, I feel inconsistency already. I feel that the energy is shifting and I don't want nothing to do with it. So let me tell y'all what happened. Okay. Saturday night, I get dressed, I get jazzy, you know what I'm saying, I had the orange on looking like <laughs> Holly Berry 2020 Baps, um, and he was, you know, he hit me up, he was like, come over here, and I don't know if he was thinking that I was getting ready to go out by myself, or with another guy, or with just my homegirl, but it seemed like he wanted me to just flake on them and come over there, and I was like, uh, no, nah, nigga, somebody got to see me in this, do you hear me? I'm going out! What you talking? Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm not gonna just gonna be laid up in your house with you looking like this. So I was like, I had just started like texting, but I didn't know what I wanted to text. So all he saw was the bubbles, right? And I was taking long because I really was trying to figure out what the fuck was I gonna respond. How was I gonna respond to that? Because. I'm not ready to come over your house. I'm gonna go to the club, okay? <laughs> it's upsetting me and my homegirls that you want me to just cancel. Like, I look too good, sir. So, <clears throat> in the midst of me writing my response, he says, um, when you done, come over later. So, you know, at the end of the night, I hit him up. I was gonna have a little sneaky link, but he ain't answer the phone. Did I tell y'all that was one of my pet peeves? I probably didn't. Not answering the phone when I call is one of my pet peeves. Like, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I just, I feel like one, your phone always by you. It's like connected to your heart. And you told me you was gonna be up, so I was. I, I ain't, I'm not gonna lie. I was mad about that. I, I get mad about small shit. When a Pisces starts Piscing, just leave. Just leave. Because once I start Piscing, bro, it's it's really headed to the end. So I got mad that he didn't answer the phone. So I, my phone died after that. I just let it stay dead the entire night. So the next morning I wake up, I get a text from him. And it's like, because I had texted him before my phone died and I said, I called you. I guess you fell asleep on me. So when I wake up the next day and I turn my phone on, this nigga done text me an hour later. It was two something in the morning when I text him. He text me back at three something in the morning, but an hour and something later, my bad, W-Y-D. W-Y-D? It's three something in the morning. What you think I'm doing? I'm asleep. Or washing my makeup out. But I don't want to talk to you. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? This the beginning. This the beginning of the end. Because you know they pursue you real heavy them first two weeks. And then when it get close to that month, that 30 days, yeah, it'd be time to take them back. Sure. It'd be time to return them and get your money back. Return them and get your money back, sis. So... I'm gonna make me a breakfast too, but I just I be needing these insurers. I'm trying to get my weight back because I lost like four pounds not eating with that sinus infection. So then he tells me Sunday uh, afternoon and he pull up. He was like, "What's up? I'm pulling up to I I I. Um, I'm with my cousin. 
And I was like, oh, okay. He was like, what? So what? Like, you trying to get out tonight or it's like vibes? And I'm like, I mean, I'm thinking about it, right? I'm thinking about it. And I'm thinking about my friend. She was like, don't be too available. Sometimes you got to be busy. Sometimes you got to counsel on a nigga, which I do. I do that to other people that I don't like, like that much. But when it's somebody that I like, yeah, I'm going to make time. So let me go and jump up at this bed, hop in the shower, do my hair, do my makeup while I'm doing so. Sir, I ain't text me back, so I'm like, hold on, my bad if I invited myself. I, I don't want to impose on you and your bros or whatever. He was like, yeah, we can get up later tonight because my cousin invited all his I-I-I niggas um, and they around. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Enjoy your night. Talk to you later. So I end up getting up with my other homeboy. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all saw that I was with uh, a dude the entire night. That was my homeboy. He, it was his birthday. He a Scorpio as well. So my battery is about to die, so I had to plug it up. But um, So yeah, um, I ended up going out with my homeboy. We had a good time. We were so lit. Like, we always have a great time with each other. And um, he ended up seeing me. New bae. He ended up seeing me out with old boy and like he saw me he kind of pinched me on my side and he was like what's up and i was like and kept on turning up with my homeboy so like later that night i got a little text from him he was like i see you with your little boo with them little eyes that look to the to the left is it to the left or the right anyway that shit pissed me off but and by that time i was drunk so i was really about to get in his ass you know what i'm saying and <clears throat> my phone died. And then I ended up seeing my ex child. Whew, and I ain't told y'all about him. <sighs> hmm. I have nothing to say. Anyway. So the next morning I woke up. I was I I I I remember that I ended it with New Bay via text. I'm notorious for doing shit like that. I'm telling you, it's them other motherfucking them fish swimming in different directions, child. Sometimes the other one be doing shit that I wouldn't normally do. So I woke up and I realized. I really feel like as a Pisces, one of my fish is a dolphin because she's so sweet. Oh, I just love her. And then the other fish is either a shark or a killer whale. Baby, you don't want to mess with her. You don't want to get in the water with her. You do not want to get in the water with her. She, she saw mess with herself. So that killer whale had sent a, a, a text and it ended with take care. Now, if I take care of you, it's, dope, it's over with. I was so mad the next morning because I was back in my dolphin stage <laughs> and I was feeling all sweet and nice and I was like, bitch, what do you do? You done deleted his number. You can't even call and apologize. So I really had to wait till he responded to my text. He did and he was like, he was just playing. He wasn't trying to be messy. So I immediately apologized because, you know, like I said, I'm back dolphin. <laughs> I'm back in the outfit. I, I apologized and I was like, you know, I need to see you today. I ain't seen you all weekend because I feel some type of way about that. And, um, I don't know. It was just different. It was just different. And so, it was different. And there's no chemistry between us. And, you know, like chemistry, you know, you know what the type of chemistry I'm talking about is. It's not chemistry. Like I have, hmm, let me hush. Hmm. So anyways, I wanted him to come over. It was his birthday, but he told me he wasn't doing nothing on his birthday. That's what he said now. So I was like, come over, you know. And he was like, he about to go to the house and um, put some clothes on and then get out and have a drink. Because he drinks a lot. I hate that. And he he literally said he's an alcoholic. I don't like that. And so um, 
he was like, are you trying to get out and get a drink and I, girl, I had already put on my little vitamin C mask. I had put my retinol on my neck, my retinol on my face, you know what I'm saying? So I really don't want to get out of bed. I got my pajamas on, my hair wrapped up, child. I don't want to get out of bed. I really was, I really, really would have rather you just come and lay up with me and we watch movies and go to sleep and be boring. But, you know, he want to get out on a Tuesday. So I'm like, I right, for you, I get out of bed and wash my little retinol mask off and whatnot, wouldn't I get real cute and jazzy? So I text him, what time are you trying to go? This nigga gonna say, I'm already here. Bruh. Never mind, I'm just gonna stay at the house. The fuck? You you being wishy washy right now. I don't like that. So he started texting me. He was like, you're not trying to get out. He was like, you really, you're not missing out on nothing. He was like, you can, we can meet here and go somewhere else when you get here. My nigga. No. So I called him and I'm like, you know, what you trying to do? Because you kind of sounding a little inconsistent right now. You know what I'm saying? I still got to get out of bed and put some clothes on. He pick up the phone. It's music playing in the background. So he's somewhere. So he's somewhere. I talked to my other homeboy who's a Scorpio as well. He was like, oh, yeah, he was really trying to, you know, uh, he was really trying to, uh, what do you say, save face because he probably was with another girl. And um, he basically said he was with another girl. And I already feel like that too. And so um, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to stay at the house. He was like, you're not trying to get out? I was like, no. Nah. And he was like, uh, okay. And I was like, all right then. So the next day he texted me good morning and I just ain't responded. I'm this is this is me falling back now. I'm just gonna fall back. Like I ain't got I ain't got time for shit like that. A nigga a, a mother gotta pursue me. You gotta continue at least the first thirty days, the pursuit has to be consistent. You can't fall off from the pursuit after you get what you want. I don't know. It could be me. I could just be like, I don't know. He a Scorpio child. You know how they they is. So you know, I don't, I don't feel like I'm wrong. <clears throat> but I did like him though, and it's crazy. I I I can like you a lot. I can like you a lot. And still fall back. I have done that so many times. So many times it make me sick being a Pisces sometimes. Because I be like, bro, why you do that? You really liked him. Like, I have to talk to myself sometimes and be like, the fuck? I don't place value in people. Because people will disappoint you. It don't matter what they did for you, people will still disappoint you. And it was a meme somebody posted not too long ago. You can't want me and still be doing you. And I felt it like, like this the one. This the one. You cannot want me and still be doing you. Like, if you're going to be doing you, bro, go out and do you. Sow your royal loads. Frolic in the hoes. It's out in the streets because you for the streets. But... <clears throat> leave me alone because I need consistency because I'm going to be consistent with you as long as that energy is consistent 